This is how many who call Jesus Christ Lord envision their walk with him to be, beside the still waters. Life is pleasant and goes well most of the time, as it's meant to be. There is little variance to what they believe he has called them to do. Their service to him is sweet, because life is sweet, calm, expected and offers little resistance to what they would choose for themselves in this life. It is going as they expect it to, and so they see themselves as in his favor. There are of course minor interruptions. A calm day can quite quickly turn into a storm, but it is one that is expected, for it has been here before and so they weather through it, expecting the end to be the same as it always has been, a return to that still water and those calm reassuring days ahead, but not always. Sometimes the return to that supposed place of security does not appear after each storm, and here is where some begin to falter, here is where their faith is shown to be where it truly is, and their fun wanting. They have been taught that since Jesus loves them, they should expect a life of peace, of protection, one free from pain and troubles, and so when those days of tribulation appear they begin to wonder, not so much about their salvation, for they believe within themselves that that is secure, they are, after all, good people, but they begin to doubt the provisions of the Lord, His promises of protection, and even the love He has towards them. Things are supposed to go well all the time, or at least most of the time, are on day. All those terrible things that happened to people in the Bible were just for our example. The Lord wants us to be happy. He wants us to be healthy, never in need of anything. All those things are supposed to be provided for us. Are on day. He would never forsake them. He would never let anything bad happen to them. Would He? There, up ahead, safety, security, warmth and reassurance, a place of rest. But wait, this is not what I thought. These stars do not seem to be calling me to a place of security, but are foreboding, malevolent. They seem dangerous. Why is God allowing this to happen to me? Am I not one of his children? Haven't I been promised that I would always be taken care of? That he would always make sure that everything would always be alright? He doesn't want bad things to happen to me. This can't be right. I said the words the pastor told me to say. I got baptized just like I was supposed to. I showed up to church almost every single Sunday, and sometimes even to the special meetings. I was on the building committee. I put a little money in the offering plate and even said my prayers sometimes, asking God to take care of me, to keep the evil people away from my door, to give me enough money to get the things I needed, thanking Him for not making me like those other people. I followed all the traditions. I did everything I was supposed to do to stay in good standing in the community and the church.